Hey, what's up guys? My name is John Silva. Today we're going to continue with the material glossiness. Uh, we have our last material to do, which is mirror. So we're going to go right ahead and do that. Um, but actually, before anything, you can see here the graphic that I've made where the light is going to hit and then it's going to bounce off and this, the, the strength between hitting and bouncing off is almost not uh, as strong therefore when I'm gonna be painting this there's gonna be it's gonna be like a mirror or a highly reflective mirror like um, we're gonna go ahead and choose because it's gonna be mirror like there's gonna have two colors actually I wanted to make make it on one unified color but now thinking about it it's the um, light source color plus environment so the environment is gray right so we're gonna start with the gray and I want the color to be one color as well um, or not yeah let's go with with this kind of salmon light source like so all right let's start building up our our shape here just as we did before now the top part is going to be in light like so uh, for this one Actually, I should change my brush. Let's see. Let's go with this. It's smooth, but it has a little, little texture to it. So not much to say here. Just building up the shape now here it's gonna be gray or at least grayer now if you notice on the previous two uh, materials matte and glossy sp specifically on on the glossy one I forgot to add um, the color of the light source onto the floor but um, but we're actually going to do that on this one so it becomes much more um, accurate, right? Do the shadow. Now this is going to be highly reflective. So once, once I'll add the shadow underneath it, we're going to see quite easily exactly that. I'm not worrying too too much still uh, yet about the color. Um, it's still uh, it's still in the building phase, so it's half building the right shape so that it looks similar to the other two, and half uh, value uh, trying to put the correct value. And there you go. Now I'm gonna put this color. Make it darker there's a little little shadow here another one there and later on we're gonna add its uh, reflectiveness now what's above us if this is a gray box it's not gonna be very red now is it now thinking about it Gonna wait, not this one. Do a replace color. I'll make this the mid tone area actually uh, more desaturated. Shadows a little too. Okay, we'll go with it for now and then we'll start 
to start building up on on that. Now this is a hard one because mirror is you got to think about angle of everything of the whole shape therefore therefore it's quite quite hard like a pillow made made of a like a pillow mirror I'll definitely will have to add more gray into this. Just because the environment itself is is gray, even if the floor is gonna be affected. Right? Because it's it's almost like a spotlight kind of light, which is similar to to uh, the sun's uh, rays. I mean, in in the way that when the light travels, it's, it travels in a straight line and not like a fan, you know. Usually, your normal household light bulbs, the, the light spreads like in 360 degrees. Uh, spotlights is more of a directional kind of light. And it's Due to the fact that the sun is so big, you know, it, its rays are going to look to us like they come straight down. Well, this time was quite fast to build the shape since we already done it twice. And here... actually want some warmth into these shadows as well. Not too much, but enough, at least. I feel like after we are done uh, sharpening a bit the outer edge of this uh, shape, we're going to be ready to start adding in the crazy reflections. Color can be easily adjusted, so I'm not worrying about it too, too much. Okay, so I feel like before anything, oops, yeah, before anything, I should add in the light source like we've done with the other ones. Also, I don't make it easy for myself because I pick like weird colors for the light sources instead of just going with your traditional sun or like a pale kind of color. No, gotta make it hard. All right. So, and let's uh, make it really shiny. Oops, that's not. All right, there we go. Glowy, glowy. Then the light rays will disappear. All right. Now we're ready. Gonna lock transparency. 
going to draw in the shape. Now it's going to be similar to the glossy one, but we're going to make sure the edges are going to be much sharper, that's for sure. And obviously there's going to be Obviously, there's going to be um, much brighter parts, of course. So I'm just drawing in the light. Like, think of it as almost like chrome, you know? Gets, oops, it gets very interesting. Again, like all the others that we've done, the, the matte and glossy, same as the previous ones, we're going to Try not to jump in right into it and more do more of a build up. Give some some room to think about it and not just jump into into our instincts. Like so. there's a much darker edge to it. And we obviously need to make it brighter. So I'm going to blend a little bit, give it a little bit of soft edges here and there, do a little bit of blending. Then we'll go back in and, and make it sharper. Now, because of the shape, it's gonna make it. <laughs> it's gonna be very hard to make it like a mirror. But we'll try to make it as mirror-like as, as much as possible within the the time we have. Obviously, the more time you spend on it, the more time you you keep on tweaking, fixing, and that's what you want to do with these videos. It's not just like oh, do it quickly and you know. Like you wanna you wanna spend your own personal time. I'm just giving you a guide, right? If I was doing this for myself, I would be probably doing this for at least three hours, you know. And right now, the you know the time constraints is much lower. But um, yeah, don't do just exactly as I do. Figure things out for yourself. Do your own visual studies and and researches read more about about, uh, about this subject as well there's a lot of material out there that you can read about different different types of materials and why is matte matte glossy glossy and mirror materials right Build up. That's that's what we have to go for right now. I look a little messy, but that's okay because uh, the information we put in is the most important. It doesn't have to look 
pretty at all right now. Okay, I'm missing a bit of... Uh, I need this light source actually to be brighter. Can we do that? Uh, let's grab our dodge tool. Let's see if we can make this brighter at the center. Oh, there you go. Now we can do exactly the same with the highlights and really bring that near white um, reflection to it, indicating that right now it's a skewed up version a skewed, a skewed up ref reflection of um, of the light source because this is not a perfectly straight uh, shape we're not actually going to be able to see exactly um, you know the the shape of this uh, light source it's kind of like an arrow right we won't be able to see much of an arrow, arrow shape on the reflections here due to the fact that it's wobbly but we can uh, we can definitely show we can definitely show the light intensity and color of it now in some areas they got to be i'm going to start applying some of the grays just because the environment is gray and it'll mix in with the um, light source colors. Oh, one more time, I forgot to add the goddamn shadows. Just gonna zoom out here for a little bit so I can see it at a smaller scale. business now we have a better comparison as you can see as soon as I added in the shadow you already can see that it's much more reflective just because light in itself is just uh, actually everything in painting it's all about comparison one thing alone in space will not look you know for example um, against this background right this color right here looks bright but if i make a quick background here and i well if i make a quick square here and i add in the, ex the exact same color it looks dark so it's all about comparison same with the light same with the reflectiveness same with edges every single thing you put down it has to be compared to something else to sell the fact that you want uh, this to look like calm or you want it to have a soft edge or you want it to have a hard edge. A soft edge won't look as soft as it could alone, right? It can still look soft, yes, but in comparison, if you put something else that it's hard, it's going to look two times softer or three times, five times softer, right? Depending on uh, how, ha how hard of a uh, object or edge you put right next to to a soft one so compare 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 uh, and add in things as much as possible to tell us the viewers right that you know oh this is this because i made a new layer for that let's merge that yeah this this looks like this because in comparison to that other thing it just makes it seem like it's more in this case reflective right because as opposed to the background like the shadow is much more matte the floor is going to be more matte I'm, I'm definitely going to add in i think we yeah we still have time to add in some texture to the floors and we're going to we're going to 
do that as we've done with with the edge here. So yeah, right now uh, it's definitely looking much more glossy as soon as we put it, put in the shadows. And you'll notice as soon as I'll put in some kind of texture to the floor and color to the floor, as I said I would, um, you'll you'll notice right away that uh, this is gonna look much more mirror-like. gray here but not too much because the floor itself is going to be uh, it's going to have light and that light is, is having color I'm going to try to make some hard edges happen like right here because because it's mirror like you're definitely gonna have hard edges because it's you know you're trying to show that uh it's depicting or it's reflecting whatever it's next to it so in this case it's a shadow therefore there's gonna be some areas here that it's reflecting you know the angle of this thing is going to reflect a little bit of the shadow right here too like so again i'm not the best at it but i, I believe i have uh, enough understanding to kind of sell idea that oh this thing is reflecting or this thing is glossy or matte you know and we practice you can as well but definitely I need more harder edges so let's work on that for a little bit and maybe Maybe we'll be, um, after that, then maybe we'll do the floor. And with the floor, we're going to add the light hitting it. Oops. Increase some of this. So all of this distortion, I'm, I'm mainly thinking about the angle, which that shape is going to face and what's the most likely outcome in terms of color and value uh, that I'm, that I'm going to get that's that's all i'm thinking right now And it's very complicated. Uh, I'm sure I'm not making everything 100% right. And this is where um, reference and doing more studies is going to come in handy. And that's okay. If it's not 100% correct, as long as you can sell an idea and sell the fact that this is, you know, mirror like or you know, kind of is looking like chrome here, which is which chrome is very mirror-like when it's polished. Um, then you're good to go. You get the job done. Yeah, that's the that's the whole point. And then you just keep practicing and practicing till you get better every single time. of places here where it's kind of dark so 
the, the edges are not quite as I would like it to be. So I'm going to harden it a little bit more. All I'm doing right now is pushing the edges around with a smudge tool. Just makes it easier. I'm so used to it as well. Um, I definitely recommend practicing it, but you know, you still want to be able to paint as effectively normally. It just makes the, the process a little faster. Okay, gonna add, gonna make it a Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, I picked up a soft brush. I'm gonna set my brush mode to soft light. Oh, let's go with soft light. I'm gonna, well, all I'm trying to do here is give it a bit of a glow. It's a bit too much. And also at the same time, give it a little bit of color. More like that. dark also So let's go ahead and apply that color, do the exact same thing here on the floor. Now when it comes from there, let me just move this around so you can see. Let's add a little bit like so and turn my brush to normal. I'm going to mix in a little bit of the gray because I don't want the floor to be too... I want to mix in the gray and the light source here. Like so. Okay. Um, I need to tweak a little bit the shadow before we go. And let's give that same shadow some color. Just a tiny little bit, just a nudge. All right. Noticing that some of these edges would be darker. Okay, and last but not least, I'm going to add some floor texture. Just a lot, just just a tiny little bit to make it a little bit more matte. All right. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, hope you also learned something I de definitely this helps me even on a daily basis kind of doing this uh, uh, kind of studies and refreshing my memory it's really really helpful so I advise you to do the same on a frequent basis and yeah 
I'll see you on the next one and thank you. <laughs>